It has been said that our commitments make us who we are. And so today, I wonder which experience has had more power on our way of life this week? Black Friday or the Feast of Christ the King? Jesus' way of life is definitely a divine challenge to the world and a challenge to our way of life and to our commitments. But oh, how difficult it is to commit ourselves to a God whose throne was a cross, whose crown was made of thorns, and whose scepter was a lance that pierced his side. Not such an obvious place to find a king, let alone God. And so today, Jesus from his throne, from his throne, overlooking all of us, reminds us that we need to seek our God where God can be found. And very often, not in the obvious places, sometimes not even in church. In my own life, the most memorable or the meaningful experiences of God have usually been found in places that I didn't expect. At the bedside of someone dying, in the eyes of someone who has lost their way, lost the total meaning of their life, making bad choices. Sometimes that God is found in the shelters of the abused and the homeless, the hungry, the frightened. Sometimes people at the end of the rope, and I mean that both literally and figuratively. But usually on some type of a cross. The point is that God isn't a hidden God at all. But like Jesus, even when he stood before Pilate, he remained silent. Sometimes God remains silent, but hidden behind the faces and the places of the suffering people, of a suffering humanity, and reminding us that my kingdom does not belong to this world. To follow the gospel does not offer us protection from pain or hurt, from sickness or death, isolation or loneliness, persecution or harassment, frustrations or disappointments, immoral choices, and irredeemable harm. We know that there is no place on this earth where we are truly safe. But the gospel also reminds us that God is with us even in the remotest place of our life and in the silence. Think of the hopelessness that touches our world. The lack of confidence in both religious and political leadership that cast doubt over and over and over again. Job security is not a promise. Poverty eats away at our community. Crime, both the death of innocence and the death of the innocent, the victims of crime, seems to escalate, escalate day. And we are reminded, again, listen to the words of Jesus, my kingdom does not belong to this world. And so on the feast today, it calls the church to a point of decision. It calls us all in the church, from the Pope to the smallest newborn, to a consistency in our belief and our practice. Reminding us that Christ the King earned this title not through the conquest of another, but through the shedding of his own blood. He is the one who still gives his life, who still washes the feet of the disciples, who still seeks the lost, and still lays down his life for his sheep. How? Through us, the body of Christ. And it still says, through us. My kingdom does not belong to this world.